Hello everyone, I am Kaylee. And I'm Lucy. And we're doing a quick virtual workshop based on our Wednesday events called Craft into Calmness. So first we'll do some introductions of ourselves. Like I said, my name is Kaylee and my pronouns are she, her, hers. My major is clinical psychology and I'm a senior this year. Lately, I've been stressed out about Wi-Fi in my house. We're working on putting an extension in our hallway somewhere so it'll get to the far end of the house, but that's no fun. And to reduce stress, I've been listening to music in my room or taking my dogs for a walk. That's a good idea. I like that. I should do that. I'm Lucy and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I am also a clinical psychology major and I'm a junior. I am stressed about um, Zoom connections failing and Wi-Fi going out kind of in class. One thing I've been doing is just making sure I have my planner and everything organized and checking Moodle, which helps me figure out if lectures are being recorded so I can see them in case it freezes or cuts out. All right. So quickly, materials for the project we have planned. You need a smooth rock or stone, acrylic paint, paint pens or Sharpies, some kind of permanent marker. I've got paint pens. And a calm space. Yeah, <laughs> relax, unwind. Get ready to make a grounding stone. So first of all, what is grounding? Is it lying on the ground? No, not quite. Um, it is a way to bring yourself back into the present. So oftentimes if we're feeling really anxious or distressed or overwhelmed, we can't really focus on what's going on around ourselves. It's just really hard to get out of our heads and tolerate whatever's going on. So grounding helps us tolerate these strong feelings and to get back into the present and feel less overwhelmed. So what is a grounding stone? It is a visual cue or a physical object to bring you back into the present and help you tolerate everything that's going on. There are different ways to practice grounding. It's not just the stone, that's not the only way. You can use your body, so you can lay on the ground. You know, it could be grounding quite literally you know, press your toes into the floor, just really feel what's around you. You can use your five senses, so sight, smell, taste, feeling. There's another one that I'm forgetting. Oh, hearing. Touch. Touch, thank you, Kaylee. Um, you can self-soothe, self so do something relaxing, light a candle, listen to music. You can observe what's going on around you. I could watch my dogs run around and focus on that rather than feeling anxious about Zoom. There's a dog in the background there. Um, breathing, you could breathe to the count of five, hold and then let out. Or you could do something to distract yourself. You could count all the objects in your room that are green or see how many colors you can find. You good? All right, so here are some examples of people's grounding stones we found online. Um, lots of them have words or mantras to remember on them and or kind of like reminders to yourself. Lots of them have textured backgrounds, so it's detailed and nice to look at. And lots of bright colors. Then like Lucy was saying, one of the ways to ground yourself, yourself is to like count colors of things around you and you can do that on your grounding stone as well so you can count how many colors you see as a way to bring you back down to a good headspace. So here's how you can use your grounding stone. After you make one, which we're going to do together, you can, like Kaylee was saying, you can count all the colors you've included on it. You can repeat the words you've written on it. Like you can either repeat it in your head or out loud. You can feel the texture. You know, if you put glitter glue on it or some paint, is it like rough? Is it smooth? Like, what do you feel on it? You can squeeze the rock, count to five and release just to remind yourself that something is there. 
And that's why I said on the initial slide too, that smooth rocks are nice sometimes because just that smooth texture, the feeling again, like being able to find something in your physical space to bring you back down to a healthy spot. So we already made a couple grounding stones to show you since we're not able to do this live together. I have a couple that I've made in the past and I live in Napa and there is a program that people do on like Facebook and Instagram called Napa Rocks where you paint rocks and you hide them for other people to find. So I have a couple of those examples, one of something I've found and then a couple that I've painted to hide. So here's a little Snoopy rock I found a couple of years ago in Napa and it's super smooth and it's Snoopy. So it's really cute. <laughs> Beautiful, and I like it has all these really bright colors. Yeah. It's, and then here's one. It's kind of a curvy shaped rock. And I have the little saying, be kind on it. And I painted a rainbow in the background with these paint pens, actually, or what I used on it. Um, I have one that I did earlier today. It's not quite as colorful as Kaylee's but just says calm and it has orange and purple. I also have some dots on it just so I can count the number of dots if I'm feeling really stressed out. Awesome. So feel free to share your grounding stones that you come up with to our Instagram. It's on this slide right here. So even though we're not able to do it in person, we can still see what you come up with. It's fun. I'm really excited to see them. Yeah. And so we put together a quick little resource list. And I know it's harder to get because it's on Zoom. Um, the first one is just our like page on our website on St. Mary's. Um, and the second one is for the care center, right? Yes. Okay. That's the campus uh, response and education center. And then that third source on there is where we got the visual for grounding techniques, which Lucy went over a little bit ago. And since we can't see you guys live, go ahead and you can either email Lucy or I and we can send you this resource list if you're interested. The CWGE also has office hours on Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. And then on Tuesday, Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So they're dropping the links on the um, CWGE's homepage on the St. Mary's website. And they're just dropping so you can show up and chat with whoever's in there or get more resources if you need help. So we have a variety of upcoming events at the CWGE that we're really excited about. On October 7th, Wanda Johnson, will be hosting a civic engagement social justice workshop at 7 p.m., which is a Wednesday. Um, and she has very personal experience with um, racial injustice after losing her son. So she is our social justice practitioner in residence for the CWGE. And she'll be doing monthly workshops. So if you miss this one, you can always come to another one. And she will be there, you know, if you want to pop in or just listen or to speak or share, I highly encourage you to come to one of her workshops. There is another monthly workshop we have with Sherry Ellingson. The next upcoming one is actually this evening, September 7, 16th at 7 p.m. And she's a life coach and a yoga teacher and helps people reduce stress in their lives. And she was at the CWGE last school year as well. So she's coming back to do workshops there again virtually. So that's another Wednesday event that we have. We also have some of the ones that you've just been listening to is the resiliency and art workshops. And we have more of those on September 23rd and September 30th. So Kaylee and I will be hosting more of these workshops. Our next two ones are about de-stressing through art and self-advocacy. So we'll be doing stuff like coloring, learning self-advocacy skills, doing practice scenarios, and building our confidence. And that's all. Thanks for watching our video and coming to 
our virtual workshop and hopefully we'll see you in some of the live sessions and actually get to talk to you and see what you come up with. That would be great. And always email us or show up to office hours if you want to chat. Enjoy the rest of the wellness fair. One second, got to figure out how to stop recording. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the wellness fair, guys. Thanks for stopping in.